In algebra, we're going to be using lots of different real life situations, model those situations, transform them into some type of a numeric analysis of some type to help us understand what's really going on. And that's the basis of algebra is looking at patterns, identifying those patterns, and then making sense of those patterns. Well, in order to do so, sometimes we're not going to be just given an equation. We're going to be given some type of a phrase or a sentence. So let, help, let us help you understand what some of these words mean and how to change it from an English context on over to a shortcut algebra context. So I have written a couple of statements. The sum of a number and seven. How can I change that on over to just simply an expression, a mathematical expression? Well, I need to know what a couple of these words mean. Sum will always mean an addition of some type. Number, I just wrote a shortcut, a short case out. That number is representing some type of a variable and seven. So it's asking me is what's the addition of some number and seven? Some number in this case is an X or whatever variable you choose. It could be any letter, but traditionally we just choose X in our examples and seven. So that statement X plus seven means exactly the same thing as this phrase right above it. The second one is 10 less than a number. So I have some number and I want an expression that says it's 10 less than that number. So I'm going to subtract 10 from it. Twice a number and decreased by six. Well, some number twice, double that number, times that number by two. So I have some number and I want it twice so it's two times that number decreased by six. One of the things that you're going to have to wrap your head around a little bit is the difference between 10 less than a number or a number decreased by six. Notice that they're both involve subtraction. And because it involves subtraction, it does matter the order the number goes in. For example, if I came back to this expression and wrote it as 10 minus x, same numbers, both using subtraction, but they mean two completely different things. One of them does represent exactly what this phrase says, and it says x minus 10. So be careful when you're looking at phrases that involve subtraction, and make sure you really work through which number am I supposed to subtract from which number. The fourth statement, the product of eight and a number. Product is an English term for multiplication. So I got the product of 8 and some number, and I can just rewrite that as 8 times x. And the last one, 3 more than the quotient of a number in 11. And a quotient is a division term. So 3 more than the quotient of some number in 11. So I want to find some number in 11. x divided by 11, that's the quotient of x and 11, and I want to add 3 more to that. So the rule I have is I translate some English phrases on over to a mathematical equivalent.